Gab KDU Local News at 5 continues. Teens under the age of 18 who smoke marijuana may see a long-term drop in their IQ. A new study from New Zealand shows people lost as many as eight IQ points after smoking pot as teenagers. Cap KV's Colin Sullivan is live in the studio. Colin, you spoke with some teenagers today. What do they think of this study? Well, Christy, every teenager who I spoke with today admitted they don't know much about the long-term effects of marijuana use, but agreed that they are much better off by just staying away. Kamaikan High student Isabel Vandender says she doesn't know a lot about marijuana use, but feels she can tell when it is having an impact in someone's life. There are people who go to school here who do that, and you can tell they talk slower already. They're just lazy, and they don't really try. A study in New Zealand was sent to researchers all over the world. They determined that marijuana use by teens under the age of 18 can affect brain development. Several students I spoke with today say the study makes sense and they hope it keeps their classmates from doing it at all. It's kind of stupid to smoke weed when you're under the age of 18. Can't you do something else for fun? Why is that? You know, I don't think it's smart. The study tested kids' IQ at the age of 13, likely before the use of any marijuana, and then again at age 38. The mental decline was shown only in those who smoked marijuana regularly before they turned 18. There doesn't appear to be any beneficial effects by smoking marijuana, so, you know, it's something certainly to avoid. Lord's drug counselor, Dr. Benjamin Pei, says this study highlights the problems with marijuana and the importance for this information to reach young people. Dr. Pei says the most troubling part of the study is that even if regular users of marijuana stop, the effects could still be long lasting. So the question is, by smoking marijuana, somehow does it prevent you from developing normally in terms of your intellectual development? The study measured more than a thousand people over the last 40 years, and researchers say they are confident they isolated marijuana use as the main reason for the loss in IQ. Christy? Interesting. Thanks for that, Colin. An initiative on the November ballot in Washington could make marijuana legal to sell, buy, and use in the state. Washington would be the first state in the country to make marijuana legal.